Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning and welcome. It's Nurse Richard the Wax Wizard. Thanks for joining me. Um, a bit of a compilation this. Uh, a bit of everything. I think there's one, two, three, four ears in this. Um, all a bit different, but nothing too complicated. But uh, all equally satisfying as one another. Um, so this will be, be released after Easter, I think. But this is the last day I'm working before uh, an Easter break. I think I said in the video before, I'm um, off to Bonnie Scotland uh, to find the Easter Muck Bunny. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, very much looking forward to that. Uh, that'll be, uh, I'll be leaving after clinic today. Um, now, the first two ears are from a young lady, uh, no, no, not a child, it was just a young lady. Um, been having problems in both of them, more notably in the other one, not this one. Um, this one was, it was more than half full. Um, oh. Certainly enough to, to, to warrant doing it, um, even if uh, hearing's not affected greatly. Uh, it's more about preventing a problem uh, when it comes to one like this. But the other one was, was absolutely brimful. It was, it was chock-a-block. Uh, she could barely hear anything at all um, in this one, even though there was a gap in there, she found it was really, because we'd had to stretch the ear open there, and when it was, um, when we were stretching it open, she'd just feel like she, she couldn't hear hardly anything at all through that one. A um, bit harder, and a bit more crumbly, and a bit drier this one than the other one. Um, I don't think she'd been oiling it either. The other one did look quite quite wet and oily, but uh, she must just produce more, more oils in that one um, than this one. But uh, again, like the other one, I think it came out in, uh, in installments. Um, you can see brought it forward, it's just getting a, a little trap around that bend there. So I'm gonna have to just try and uh, bring it forward a bit again and then work it around that bend there. So to a bit of an anniversary today, um, believe it or not, it's been, I think it's two years uh, since the business has been going, uh, pretty much to the day, there or thereabouts since I left me a public health job. Um, if you want to ask if I miss it, no is the honest answer. Um, I miss the people who, who I work with, you know, because I worked with them for a very long time. Um, but the, uh, the job itself, no. It just became very, very stressful and uh, public health comes with a lot of challenges. You have to try and squeeze every little ounce of productivity out of every staff member there because there just aren't enough of them, unfortunately. Anybody who works in the UK in, in, the, in public health will know exactly what I'm talking about. There, there's just not enough. And I, I don't think it's a money thing, there just aren't enough um, trained clinicians to do the job that, uh, that, that you really want to do. So you, you, you're obviously seeing more patients than you probably should, than it's probably safe to do sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's this one here. Now I did try and start a little peel here but she did um, say that I was, she didn't say it was painful, she, she, she felt it a little bit, which, which most don't, to be honest, something like that. Uh, but she said it was uh, tickling a little bit and uh, wasn't unpleasant, but uh, I felt there was no need to, to carry on peeling all the way down there. It didn't look ready, to be honest with you. Um, so let's get the last little blob here. So yeah, two years, it's, it's mental really as well from, from, from where we started. It, it was busy from day one. It, it really was, but I knew it was going to be because it's uh, unfortunately this service isn't freely available in many areas, certainly not in the area I'm in. Um, and where it is available, the, the waiting lists are absolutely huge. Um, I think it, it can take anything from six to 18 months, even longer for children, unfortunately, um, to get seen. So unfortunately, um, people have no choice uh, a lot of the time, but to, to go private, unfortunately. I wish that wasn't the case, I really do. But unfortunately it is, so uh, it's supply versus demand, so uh, that, that's why I, uh, I started myself. I thought if people aren't gonna be able to get it anywhere else, um, let's at least make sure that there's someone who knows what they're doing, <laughs> if, they, if, they, if, they, if they must go private. You know. um, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad I did it. I keep getting asked quite a lot, um, especially from uh, some old colleagues uh, and other, um, nurses and even some audiologists, you can expand. Um, the answer's always no. <laughs> I had enough HR problems in, <laughs> in the old job. I don't need any now when I don't choose to. 
because um, the, 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 the jobs themselves are always easy, it's usually the, the, the people that you have to deal with have issues, so I'd rather it was just me. I don't want to be responsible for anybody else, <laughs> just me. And that's the way I like it. Um, it, it, it would be easy to have like another two, three clinics here and make a lot more money, but I, I'm really not interested in that. I don't want the responsibility of, of someone else. Like just do my own thing. Coming in when I want, working when I want. And that's, uh, that's certainly what I'm gonna carry on doing. <laughs> Of a noise coming towards you. So the last you one here, squeak, from what I remember, the one that you've just seen there, that was um, a yeah. gentleman, it was actually a father of an old uh, rugby teammate of mine, uh, here an age user. Uh, and the last one here is, um, I think this was the last one I did with the old, with the old equipment. I mean, it's still relatively clear, it's not a bad image, but the other ones you can probably tell are a little better recently. Um, and this one was a home visit in a care home and I got an audience, all the, all the carers were around there. They were ooh, making all kinds of weird noises. <laughs> they were enjoying what they were seeing because they were peering over my shoulder, you know, and really enjoying watching it. Um, but yeah, the other one was a dad of uh, an old rugby colleague of mine. It's probably one of the few things that I don't share too much about my old rugby playing days. I was never a serious player. Um, <clears throat> it was always just a... Uh, bit more of a social thing and every year we used to go on a rugby tour uh, it's basically just an excuse for a boy's jolly <laughs> the, the games often got in the way of the drinking um, but there's, there's not too much that I'll, I'll ever share from them because there's a saying what goes on tour stays on tour <laughs> and that is certainly the case <laughs> yeah we used to uh, get up to all kinds of shenanigans I mean it's amazing where you can find uh, we, we, we used to basically think of a place that we wanted to go for a bit of a boys jolly and then see if we could find a rugby team there. Um, sometimes we didn't, we, didn't we, we just went and <laughs> there was no game, we just went away anyway. But we ended up in some strange places. Uh, I think we went to on, on, on tour to uh, Poland, Estonia. That was a beautiful country that was. Uh, obviously we did a lot in the UK as well, in different parts of the UK, Wales and Scotland. Um, Ireland, um, and we had quite a lot in um, in Spain. We'd always find a Spanish team there to, to play against, which a lot of them were usually expats, um, people who were from either Australia, New Zealand, or Britain, and lived over there and formed their own expats team. But I think one one tour we actually went. I think it was Benidorm. It was accidentally ended up playing a team of Spanish professionals. <laughs> Got absolutely battered. Uh, I don't know who organised that one, but they got told that, yeah, we're not leaving you in charge of organising these again. <laughs> but uh, good time was had by all, but I'll, I'll, there's lots of photos and images that I, I will never share on this page. It's not appropriate at all. Um, uh, but yeah, happy days, happy days. So as you can see, because you can see the drum in the distance of this one, can't you? So we're just trying to peel away. It's very sticky stuff, this. Uh, a bit of a faff to get it all out, and it was kind of stuck uh, around the uh, around that bend there. So we're just trying to pull it to the side and then unstick it. Got as much as we could. It's not essential to get all of that stuff, but uh, I was more than happy with everything that we got there. Uh, and as you can see, decent shot of the eardrum there. She could hear a lot better afterwards. Anyway, I uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, but for now, take care of yourself, and I'll see you soon. Tada.